Hi, and welcome to another PowerShell quick tip video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the get member commandlet. So this commandlet on its own actually doesn't do anything. You do need to pass information to it. You can either pass a variable or a commandlet to it. And what this commandlet exactly does is actually shows you the different properties, the different events, different methods that that PowerShell object actually contains. So we're actually going to see this here. So let's actually go ahead and get started here on just what exactly is get member and how we can actually use it. So if you try to use get member, as I said, on its own, we're going to get a error message. So if we actually just go ahead and we run this, we are going to get get member. You must specify an object for the get member commandlet. Now, what we can actually do is just simply do a get service and pipe that over to get member. We're going to see that it works. It shows us all of the alias properties, the events, the methods that we can do, and the properties. So what I can actually do even further. So let's say we went ahead and we assigned a variable called service. And we assign that to the get service. And we are getting the service called spooler. So this is our print spooler. We go ahead, we assign this to service, and we go ahead and we look at what is inside the service variable. What we're gonna see is it shows us our spooler, it's running, and the display name is print spooler. Now, it actually has a lot more properties than these three properties. So if I actually pass that to get member here, we're actually going to see our script method, all of our properties, our methods, exactly the same as when we passed get service to get member. So get member, you can pass in an object or you can actually just pipe the commandlet that you want to see what the objects are that you would get from that commandlet right into get member and you're gonna get all the members or properties, methods and events that are contained in that object. And then what you would actually be able to do is you can actually then use that here and you can see that we see all right dependent services is an option so if i do service and we do a dot now of course if you are using um, visual studio code or powershell isc you do get this drop down but maybe you don't quite know exactly what the variable type might be that you get back from service handle or dependent services. If I look at dependent services, I see that I get back a service process, a service controller. So if I actually go ahead and just put dependent services here, we go ahead and we run this, we actually get that the dependent service is fax. So that is awesome. So we can see that the services that are dependent on the print spooler is the fax. So what we can actually then do is we can see about the methods. Now, for the methods, you usually do have to be running in administrator mode, which currently my Visual Studio code is not running in administrator mode. So if I actually try to do the method stop, which would be the same thing as me running the stop dash service commandlet, but it actually has a built in method into the PowerShell object. So we can actually go ahead and let's just open up the PowerShell 7 console as administrator here. And then we can actually use it directly from in here. So if we do a service and we do a get service and we are getting the spooler service, we can once again, just make sure that it is running. And we can once again, even in the console, we can get member on there we get all of our properties and our methods the event and the alias properties so what we can do here is actually do a service we could still do dependent services but what we can also do is a service dot stop open and close parentheses and run that now of course if we go look at our variable we're going to see that it's running because we haven't refreshed that variable so what we can actually do here is just once again, just hit up a few times and reinitialize the service variable to our get service. And if we look at it now, we can actually see that it is stopped. And then what we can actually do is 
we'll do a service dot start open and close parentheses here and then if we reinitialize that variable to the get service we can see that it is now running and i knew about the stop and start methods because if i do a service pipe that to get member we can actually see the methods here of start and stop and what is very nice is you can actually see that the stop method you can actually have there's two ways to call the stop method so just to stop open and close parentheses which will just stop that service and then the other one is let's say we also had the fax service started but we also want to stop that because we know that it is a dependent service on the print spooler it depends on the print spooler uh, so we would want to stop the dependent services so we can actually pass in the value of true here and it will actually do that so it'll show us as well as execute command uh, we just need to it takes in a int command um, we can see here that the equals we can see if it equals something else and it takes in a system object so there are tons of different things and it will even say that you can actually get and set some of these as well and on some of them you can only get the value so these are all things that are super super useful in the get member especially if it's your first time using a commandlet or you haven't dealt with a powershell object yet um, or you have dealt with it but maybe you just haven't you're looking for something specific and seeing what's actually there you can use the get member uh, commandlet on that object or that commandlet and get all of its methods and properties and see where you can actually go from there so get member is a very very useful commandlet especially for uh, beginners in powershell as well as intermediates and so on as well if you're even an expert in powershell get member is always very useful for new modules that come out or if you are working with someone and you just want to see if they've written a module and you want to see what type of properties that they are if you don't have access to the code but you do have access to run it and you get an object back you can see what is there so that is the get member commandlet so if you guys have any comments or questions on the get member commandlet or want to see a commandlet featured in these quick tips please let me know in the comment section down below please also don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and also hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out and i will see you guys on the next video